IKEA fined $1.2 million for spying on staff. Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss any of our videos. Keeping a tab on employees is a normal thing for any business house or a corporate and it is essential as well as to ensure that employees are at their productive best, follow the rules and regulations of the company, put the resources of the company to their best use, and above all, don't take the jobs for granted. But the Swedish firm IKEA took their employee surveillance to a next level altogether. A French court has slapped a fine of $1.2 million on the world's biggest furniture retailer, IKEA, after being found guilty of improperly gathering and using data on its employees. As per the CNN Business Reports, the French branch of Inca Group, which owns the majority of IKEA stores around the world, faced accusations of utilizing an alleged spying system on not only current and prospective employees, but customers as well, between 2009 and 2012. If reports are to be believed, then the spying tactics began in the early 2000s. It is reported that the services to private investigators were deployed who were paid over $700,000 annually with the motive of obtaining background information about his staff, while also vetting applicants. There were some improper practices, as well like breaching employees' privacy by going through their bank accounts, at times using fake employees to write up reports on staff, using information to target union leaders, or using information to get a edge for IKEA in customer dispute cases. Not only this, they even had information on the employees' financial situation, as well as the cars they drove. They have also been accused of bribing people in the police department to gain access to confidential police files. The store manager, Patrick Salvi, divulged to the court that he got personal information of candidates from his cousin, who worked for the police. Also, another police officer shared information to Patrick about three of the 49 candidates selected for the jobs at IKEA who had committed minor offenses. After this, Patrick shared names of 68 candidates chosen with the officer who told him to draw five out of this count. Patrick claimed innocence in front of the court, claiming that he was asked to carry out these checks and was, in fact, very naive and overzealous to perform his duty. Jean-Louis Bailet, former CEO of IKEA's French subsidiary, has received a two-year suspended prison sentence and a $60,500 fine. There were 15 people who faced accusations in the trial. Two of the accused were found not guilty of all charges against them. These include a police officer and a senior position holder at IKEA's retail operations, Stefan Van Overbeek, who ran IKEA in France from 2010 to 2015. A few accused were cleared on some charges, like systematically divulging confidential information, but were found guilty of others, like illegally obtaining personal data. Sanctions range from a 5,000 euro fine for a former human resources manager to several suspended prison sentence. Apart from this, IKEA fired several managers and reviewed its internal policy after the allegations were made public in 2012. The council consisting of lawyers for France's CGT Union and several individuals seeking compensation had been pushing for a 2 million euro fine. They were not very happy with the fine imposed on IKEA but were satisfied with the way proceedings happened and the guilty were punished for the wrongdoings. Lawyers argued in their opening remarks that protection of our private lives against the threat of mass surveillance was at stake at the trial involving IKEA France, along with its former top executives and store managers. The company, on the other hand, said it was reviewing the court decision to see if further measures were needed after it took steps to squash the surveillance tactics. The Inca Group also issued a public statement after the decision was announced by the French court stating that IKEA Retail France has strongly condemned the practices, apologized and implemented the major action plan to prevent this from happening again. France is IKEA's third biggest market after Germany and the US, and employs around 10,000 people in France alone. Not too long ago in 2019, a store with a new format was launched in Paris. IKEA is famous for its huge self-service stores, but due to the pandemic, its majority of customers shifted to online shopping with a huge demand for office furniture, food jars and cooking products. The main company, the Incas Groups, operating profit in the year to the end of August 2020, fell tremendously due to store's closure owing to the pandemic lockdown. Now the company is planning a rebound with its comeback strategies in place, but due to this public defamation and legal suit, it's difficult to predict 
how successful the strategies would turn out to be. That's all for today, I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss any amazing video from us.